Alright, so it's Tuesday, 3 something right now. We're about to drive to the airport, head off to BC. I was gonna show you guys packing, but that's pretty boring. So I'll just let you guys know what I took as, as I'm there and I'm packing stuff. So I got protein powders and baggies. I got my fish oils. We got taurine for the cramps. I brought one pack of pump pre-workout, that was about it. And then everything that I needed for this show. So like sweats, loose sweats, loose sweater, loose shirt, sandals, got the rope so that wherever I stay, I'm not killing the bed sheets. Ended up only drinking around six liters of water yesterday, Monday. And then today I'm only at three liters so far and it's three o'clock so I'm gonna keep chugging water tonight and then I'll chill out probably tomorrow so that I can start dropping water for Friday but I'll show you guys that stuff once we're in BC Woke up, we're here, downtown BC. It's around 11.30. Don't know what the plan is. Um, gonna try to see if we can make it down to the gym because we have free access to, I think, West Coast Iron or something like that, I believe it's called. So I'm gonna see if I can go find some food that is strictly protein, no carbs. Maybe just take a walk and head to the gym. Sweats, tank top, got the selfie stick tripod, old earphones, so we got the dongle, we got a power crunch bar in case I can't find food, brought this pump powder, two scoops of protein, we got the headphones, got the taurine, we also got a portable charger and we got water tight in here so I can take water tight throughout the day. Now we just gotta go find the gym, apparently it's not that close but they do give us free shuttles but I believe that I might be able to just get a ride there, so. Hopefully it's a nice gym. I'll show you guys when I get there. So we couldn't find anything super clean in this food court the, at the mall, the Pacific Center or something like that. We got so walks, we got uh, barbecue chicken, we got sesame chicken and we got pork. And I tried not to have carbs, so I'm just gonna try to have a little bit of this, but it's okay because we're two days out. All right, so like an hour later and all the data on GPS, we made it to West Coast Gym down in Coquitlam. So what we're gonna do is a pot crunch bar because I haven't had any carbs. I actually didn't eat any of those uh, noodles. So 
this will be the first carbs I have today. It'll be, well, I think there was some honey or something in the sesame chicken. I don't know how it's made, but it was sweet. So this has nine carbs. Gonna have some of this Northern's pumps. There's no caffeine or anything in this. I took a caffeine pill. Just use that for pumps. Always wanted to try these type of presses, press machines. It's like plate loaded. So we're here at the IOS. Two stories, pretty, pretty much bodybuilding. Got outside. It was a good thing I brought the portable charger because my phone like died from being a GPS. So we're just on the upstairs part of uh, West Coast Iron. Give you guys a better look. So we got all this stuff over here. That's where I was down there. We got the cardio deck up here. Over there. And we got this like full room place for abs and stuff. Over over here we got uh, Chris Bumstead chilling right there. If you want to see a pic with him? I got that on my Instagram. It's huge. It's a big boy. Shout out to all the Canadian muscle. <laughs> We've been water loading the last few days here. Not looking too bad. Still low carbs. We're under 40 grams a day still, or less. Just hit. Um, we started with chest. We did some shoulders. We did some arms. Pretty much did everything, like 15 to 20 reps, just to uh, really deplete that last bit of glycogen. Um, it's hot in here, so I don't think I'll need to do cardio too long to get a sweat up. Typically, typically my gyms are AC and they're cold and stuff. So I was I was soaking wet in the car just driving here, let alone actually about to do cardio. So I'll see how long I do. Probably I'm gonna say at 20 minutes. I'll decide if I do longer or not. But legs are sore, so see how it goes. Maybe we'll also stick around, see what shows up. Just tried out these cookies. I'm gonna get. Uh, the chocolate macaroon ones are fun. They also got Bang Energy here, so I've never seen those, so I'm gonna try one of those out. But not yet. The uh, oatmeal chocolate chip, and then these are the bangs I was talking about. I've never actually had these. So we got the uh, sour heads. So I'll probably have, I can't have the cookies until after, after Friday, so I'll probably have those Saturday. And then uh, I had a caffeine pill this morning. So I'll probably just, uh, I'll have this probably around 8 or maybe tomorrow because tanning is at like 3 a.m. for guys. So I'll probably have that. I just don't want to have it too close to the show because I don't want to get bloated. Caffeine restricts your veins and stuff. So I'm trying to have a good pump on stage. It says super creatine. And this one says uh, BCA aminos. So that's it. That's, uh, that's it for today at... Uh, West Coast Iron. We're gonna head back to, we're gonna leave Coquitlam, head back downtown, and I'll pr I only did uh, 20 minutes because my calves started cramping. Taurine wasn't helping. I've been drinking so much water, so I don't know why. Been here for like two or three hours now, so I'll probably end up walking around downtown. That'll be more cardio, plus it's like plus 40, so I'll get depleted, don't worry. This might uh, look like nothing, but this is my calf cramping for no reason, and you can kind of see it. It was just spasming. It was crazy. I thought I'd take a video to show you guys, like, that's why I stopped cardio.
So we're at Rio here in Vancouver. We're gonna have all the meat. When we're done, flip the bread. Kind of like Pampas in Edmonton. Got beef. Now we just got that top sirloin. Now we just got that uh, rum steak with garlic. Plate is adding up, so now we got the big plate. Bacon wrapped sausage. Wow, <laughs> this is quick. Just got uh, chicken hearts, like a bunch of little chicken hearts, and then we got sausage. So we got pork ribs now, a slice of pineapple, and some garlic steak again. <laughs> so we just ate all that meat that I showed you in less than half an hour. <laughs> oh my god. I'm not even pushing out. I'm not even trying to do that. I literally look like a grenade. Bloody. Even trying to flex, it's not going in. So it's Thursday, one day out. I went to bed at like four, I can't sleep. I don't know if it's because maybe I'm excited or just I don't sleep anyways. So we got athletes meetings, we got tan. I'm gonna start carb loading. I was gonna go work out, I don't think I will. Actually, I might have time since it's eight o'clock. Maybe, maybe I will. I'm gonna stop this right now and I'm, I'm gonna think about it. So I'm gonna start with this um, Brookie from 7-Eleven brownie cookie. It's a solid 61 carbs and 420 calories right off the bat, and then we'll see what we have after. So we just pulled up at uh, West Coast Iron round two because I heard that uh, Antoine was here. So quick pop in, catch him, Justin Huey, getting it. We got Victor killing legs. I'm gonna wait till they finish this set though before I ask for a picture. So since it's like plus 50 outside, I'm like soaking wet and like we're supposed to be like washed, exfoliated for the tan. Just talked to Chris Bumstead, just talked to Justin Huey, just talked to Antoine, talked to Melissa. Since I'm here, I'm just gonna quickly take like a quick shower and then I'm gonna head to the hotel and then get the tan, get the tanning stuff started. But yeah, I'm way too oily, so that's why I'm 
here now. So we just finished that shower. We're gonna just leave West Coast Iron right now, see if we can make it to the Sheridan in time for my tan at five, and then I for the weigh-ins and height stuff and registration. So keep you guys posted everywhere we're going. So that's the uh, West Coast. 10 out of 10 gym. If I make a gym, probably copying their layout. Telling y'all in advance, sick gym. So you just arrived at the Sheraton for the parking. We're gonna go find out where this tent is. Get it done. Cut the elevator later. So they didn't tan my face this time, luckily. They said I can shower and do my hair. If you've seen last week's photos and videos, hair wasn't done. That was because they sprayed my head and everything and they told me I wasn't allowed to shower. So now we're heading to athletes meeting. Gotta go find the hard rock. So I haven't eaten since like 1 p.m. I just dropped my phone, cracked it a bit. So I'm looking at a cracked corner of my phone right now. It's lit. Uh, so we're here, Hard Rock. Just uh, finished registering. We got a swag bag. So I'll show you guys what I got in there. Now I'm gonna see if I go to the, a grocery store and get some carbs, carbs, carbs. For to start eating tonight, so maybe rice or rice cakes and stuff, and then potentially go get some dinner. So, in our swag bag, we got Vampro magazine, free shaker cup from bodybuilding.com, another shaker cup, um, organic coconut chips made by uh, Prairie Naturals, 100% vegan, non GMO. Some, these are like ads for some sort of ISO. 10% off a suit for girls. I could use that. We got a uh, a C4 or like an actual C4 in a bottle, like a Gatorade. I like that. It's like a pre-made pre-workout. C4, I think, is either the first pre-workout I had or one of the first three. My original three that I had that I remember was a C4, NO Explode from a BSN, and I remember it was Super Pump 250 or Super Pump Max, but one of those three. C4 was cool when it first came out and then it didn't work for me after three days. I do know that C4 has made like six different like pre-workouts and really all they did was just like take the original and kind of just like if there was like eight ingredients they kind of like took two made it one took the other two made another one took the next two made another one took the next two made another one so they kind of went down so i stopped taking c4 caffeine is on this one so it has uh, an explosive energy blend that is uh 3870 milligrams I beg your pardon? Well, that's a blend. I'm a, it's a proprietary blend, I'm assuming, because it has beta alanine, NO3, caffeine anhydrous, and N acetyl L tyrosine. Ah, right here, caffeine anhydrous. Okay, only 200 milligrams. Okay, that's not that bad. Just the entire blend is 3,000. I was like, that's three grams? That's crazy, but what else is in here? Some aminos. A Popeye's plain sat or plain like salmony color Popeye shirt. It's large because you know your boy's big. 
I'm an extra small, but it's fine. Keto Bomb, keto creamer for coffee and tea added to your favorite beverage. It's French vanilla latte flavor. There you go, check that out. Keto Bomb for all you people who like keto. This is BPI, so Ice V at BPI.com gets 20% off. So uh, I got you guys. You watching this, I'll hook it up. We also got uh, bodybuilding.com, BCAs, some bacas, blue raspberry. Can't go wrong with blue raspberry. If a company messes up the flavor blue raspberry, that company's not good. Ave Extreme Energy Nootropic. Check that out. It's like a pre-workout with a lot of more focused stuff type ingredients that I've never heard of apparently, like Magic Lion. Infina Energy, Kaijila Africana. They actually hooked it up with a lot of stuff. Protein powder in a little container made by BioX. Iso weight isolate chocolate, 21 grams. So I guess you just crack this, add water, and you got your little protein bottle. The goodies never end in here, holy. Okay, we got uh, Magnum Nutraceuticals is pre-4. Oh. Shark candy, mm. Not a fan of blue sharks. Another one, this one is um, strawberry marshmallow candy. I do like strawberry marshmallows. If they mess that up, then that's it for Magnum because I don't really have their stuff. Another protein bar that we got from the first CPA in Edmonton. This like 400 calorie, 30 gram. Oh man, this is, this is a meal is what this is. This is literally a meal. This is what people eat on a, on a, on a plate with chicken and like rice. Right here. One in Edmonton that I got was a oatmeal. That one was fire. And it was soft and chewy. So honestly, not that bad. A little high in calories if you're cutting. So I probably wouldn't have that. I was on a diet for bulking. I don't really buy protein bars that much because I can really I can eat whatever. So but I mean it's free. pH correct creatine monohydrate from EFX. AKA this is some super bougie creatine. Pre-workout from uh, bodybuilding.com, fruit plunge flavor. Like a green drink. This is, yeah, from Flora. It probably tastes disgusting, but that's okay, because green is healthy. I don't know what this is. It smells delicious, it does smell like lemons. I assume it's kind of like a, like sweet sweat. Drip fit, sweet sweat, I'd assume that. So the thing, uh, you can put like pre-workout in here and there's like lids on the top and bottom. So you can put pre-workout here and then once you're ready to use it, you just unscrew this, tap it into a bottle. So luckily there's a superstore right across the street from the Hard Rock and we got this Dollarama too. So we're gonna go to Dollarama, get some like quick sugary snacks. Like I used Twix and stuff and last Conveniently, time. there's also a Wendy's and a Timmy's across the parking lot and there's an A&W also right there across the street and a gas station. We got a plan what we want to eat. I was gonna do oatmeal, but oatmeal does have water, but so does rice. And since I'm not drinking water, I would get a little bit of moisture from the rice. I ate the rice cakes last time and honestly, they're pretty dry when you're not drinking any water. And like, I'm already parched. So we'll see what I choose. I think a and might have lettuce wraps options, so I could go get a burger with a lettuce wrap. But we're gonna go into Dollarama and Superstore and we'll see what we get, and then I'll get back to you guys. Might get some rice. Everything's if I do top. get rice here, I'll just buy some uh, containers and then I'll just like microwave it, put it in the containers, and I'll just eat it cold. Everything, all that, the two bar, or four bars, five bars, and that was only seven bucks. Superstore, that probably would have been more. So uh, I'm gonna go see where I can fill up my water bottle and then take sips because I actually haven't drank since around 1.30 and I wasn't supposed to cut my water until five and I still have water tight to drink just like last time. So we'll see where we end up. Eating the Eat More Bar. We are gonna go to Superstore. Because once you start eating all these carbs and you don't have water, you have a tough time actually passing everything through your gut. So I'm actually gonna go look for some digestive enzymes. Have those today so that tomorrow they'll be in and then I'll use fish oils 
as like my carrier so that I don't hold water. Grabbing muffins for the carb load too. It's like 12, we got fries from Wendy's, just a plain double cheeseburger. And then we'll probably have some muffins after that because I haven't eaten since one. So almost, almost gonna be 12 hours of eating, so yeah. Really drying out. Left my toothbrush in the car. So I didn't go get that. It's about two in the morning. Probably gonna go, still looking pretty flat, so we're probably gonna go for a blueberry muffin or two. So, so far we're just under 500 carbs, literally like 440 or something or 430 something. I'm gonna have the two muffins. The ones, it's an assorted pack. I think the blueberry ones were 390 calories and 50 carbs each. My tan is at five, but my buddy's is at, uh, I think 315. We're about seven minutes away. So I'm just gonna drive him there and then that gives us time, it forces me to get up and then it gives me time to eat. So it's about 3.30 in the morning. Let's see what we weigh at. One sixty-two. That's with the Wendy's and the muffin in me. Let's see, four twenty-one. We're gonna head out to the Sheridan. We're gonna go get our second tan. Then we'll look for breakfast. Right now I'm just chewing some gun, some gum to keep my mouth a little watery because I haven't really drank water since around one yesterday and then I had like three sips, like literally bottle caps of water. So like <clears throat> my throat's dry, my eyelids are dry, my tongue's dry. Starting to fill up now compared to last night. Carbs are kicking in. Actually, I'll keep it for now. Oh, yeah. I might just add a little sip. Gonna have a half muffin. I haven't eaten since Denny's. This man has an eat. We are here to get that For a rice cake place. an hour, you can we keep this that, man. That, that, we can get that overall first. <laughs> so we get it. I feel like passing out, just sipping some water, chewing gum to keep the mouth moist. This is this is your angle right here, man. so fat you can see it from the back <laughs> good luck big man
That was a stacked class. So prejudging just went down. Need to, <laughs> need to come in bigger. Smallest guy there. I'm just gonna drive up the parking lot and see what the options were because I seen them yesterday. I just forget them right now. Came to have fun. We doing that. So we're just in the buffet at the Hard Rock. It was like 12 bucks, all you can eat buffet. So we grabbed garlic bread, pasta with cheese, and some pork. I'm gonna eat until like I'm moderately full, maybe not even full, until I feel like I'm about to be full, and then I'll hold back. Man, my lips are so dry. Like, it hurts so bad on the edges. My eyelids are dry, my throat, my tongue. So, we grabbed some desserts. We're not gonna eat them all, we're just gonna try them out, but got the pill holder. So we're gonna have two fish oils. And the reason behind that is just help move the food around <clears throat> instead of water using oils. Then we got digestive enzymes just to help break everything down too because everything's pretty dry in there. So cool. Hold on, I'm gonna do it to you. Show your pack. Yo, I pissed on your crap, baby. Yeah. <laughs> Eat town. Goes all the way. That's all the competitors. Okay. There it is. Backstage things. Big choco. Hit it. Let's see it. What you can do. Henry's a fangirl right now. He couldn't even speak. He just got starstruck. This is called breath being took. <laughs> I, can't, I can't even hold a camera in front of him or look at him. It's just Look, this is the only time you see Henry and Chris in the same, the same frame. <laughs> Let's see. Bye-bye, yeah. you... Chris. I don't know why that's so cool. <laughs> <laughs> look at it. Your future. So cool. It's like when uh, Bradley Martin Awesome. Number 206, Cody. 266, Dustin. I don't know. I'm quite freak out. Yes. I just like want to touch his arm. It's because of that, that, that paper skin. Okay, there we go. That's it. Now you can do it. Yeah. That's good. Nah, no, you don't know no one? Oh my god, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, that's it. Don't burn them out, don't burn them out. <laughs> that's it, we out ya. We went back on stage, man. I walked out, I'm done. I'm ready to start drinking water. I'm so dehydrated, I need a Gatorade, bro. And food. 17 weeks of this. After those behind the stage videos, we went on stage. It was like 11.30, 11.40 p.m. We did front and back poses, and I immediately left. I didn't have many people there that I knew, so I didn't have lots of stage videos. But for those wondering, came in 10th out of I think 12 people, so top 10 international show, no coach, second show ever, first one being like literally five, six days beforehand. Crazy experience. The shows, the being in BC, like the entire experience was just crazy. Honestly, I always said that I was not down to compete. I'm down. 
I'm with it. So you can see that I already gained weight since then to now. Friday, stepped on stage around 158. So I was around 162 after eating all that food. Six days, I went to like 192. In six days, that's more than 30 pounds. 187 after working out for like two hours going to the washroom. So. After I weighed myself, I got kind of scared, so I kind of like chilled out with the eating, went down to around 181. Honestly, wow. <laughs> Did not feel good. I said I was going to reverse diet. I came back and I just started eating whatever I seen. Honestly, the hunger never stopped. I could literally eat all day long. 10,000 calories is nothing. I could do that in a heartbeat. So that's the Van Pro Am vlog. If you guys liked that or wanted to see certain stuff behind the scenes or had more questions, let me know because like if I ever do another show, I want to show you guys what you guys want to see or what you guys want to know. Like I got the shaving, got the narrowing, got the back behind the scenes stuff, got what I ate a little bit, got uh, the registration. So like anything you guys want to know what happens behind the scenes, let me know so that I can give you guys better content. But thanks for watching. Thanks for this entire journey. Thanks for all the people that followed me on Instagram who motivated me when I no longer wanted to do cardio. For the people that messaged me randomly just to show love, you guys helped. Whether we're friends or whether you're a stranger, more strangers sent me more motivational, more positive stuff than people in my own life that I actually know. Strangers, it's crazy. I love social media, it really gives you Gives you that platform to connect with people that actually have the same interests as you. Because honestly, in Edmonton, the fitness community is very small, very clicky. If you're not in a certain gym or certain group, people don't really want to talk or hang out or work out. So meeting people through social media around the world, it ends up being that way if you want to meet people that have the same interests as you. So IG fam, shout out. That is the end of this vlog. Thank you guys for watching. If you liked it, make sure you subscribe, comment, like it, share it, all the things. If you got social media, share it on all your social media. Feel free to message me on Instagram at any point in time if you have fitness-related fitness questions. But until then, peace. <laughs>